Now it looks like we have an optional rotisserie attachment here. I received the X-Tool rotary attachment to Pro RA2 from X-Tool. Let's take a look inside this box and see what we get. First, greets you with the manual, which you should read, at least reference and read. Next, we have the X-Tool rotary accessory kits. Once again, packaging is pretty much top notch here. We have the single step jaw. And then we have the tape measure, it's a 1.5 meter. And we have the double step jaws. Next we have a chuck key. If you've ever used an old-fashioned drill, you've seen these before. And then we have the stepper motor timing pulley. And in the next layer we have the jaw chuck with belt. And then we have the tail module. All right, final layer is the rotary attachment version two. Then we have the support module. We have the connection cable and adapters. Then we have a 2.5 millimeter hex key or Allen key. Then we have screws, tools, and miscellaneous accessories. Everything's really well packaged. Now let's take everything out. Basically, I'm going to disassemble this because uh, I'm not going to use this part of the rotary, but you can if you want. Um, I'm more interested in the, the chuck attachment. So it's very straightforward. Videos are out there on their site. I'll link them below on how to assemble. It only took me about five minutes. Now I'm putting the single stage jaws on here and um, I decided after this I was going to put the dual on there. Keep track of your screws and everything. So like I said if you had a old school or just a, a different type of drill you may be used to seeing these key things. You just turn it and it'll expand the jaws out and in. And these jaws are uh, basically like a rubber coated plastic and they are very very grippy. I'm going to put these smaller ones, these two stage ones on here, because I am not going to be uh, engraving anything that need this type of a uh, big attachment. As I mentioned, it comes with the adapters needed for other laser engravers, but we're just going to use the cable supplied that will plug into the board and then into the stepper. So I put the two stage jaws on here. And this is a pretty hefty glass I have on here, and it is holding it rather nicely. With no other supports on the other end. It also comes with this bubble level. It would be nice if it was more like a, a grippier instead of just a piece of plastic, but it still gets the job done. And that's how much you have to raise it to make it level. I would suggest that you buy some shims because they will be your friend. As you can see, I used three shims to make this glass level. And when I etch glass, I use tempera paint because it easily washes off with hot water. And to speed up my drying time, I use a heat gun. I put it back in the rotary. And I also have a spare glass here that I'm going to measure the diameter. Very important here. But this is concaved, so you're going to see what happens after we put in our measurements. You're going to line it up, and then we're going to refer to the software. Now this is the image I'm going to use. I'm actually going to do it a negative 90. So you'll see it's now laying towards the left. And I'm just going to keep the default settings. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to just change the power to 60. And you get a few settings here that they have you can choose from, but you can always override them. And this is, of course, laser box basic. Then I'm going to hit the play button in the upper right. And in the upper left, I'm going to choose rotary. I could either put in my diameter or circumference. It will calculate it either way. And once I am happy with everything, I can hit frame and it'll frame out the area. And then all I have to do is hit start. 
Now, before we proceed any further, it is disclaimer time. Yes, disclaimer time. Safety first. This video is for entertainment purposes only. You are following these instructions at your own risk. Always wear approved eye protection. People and animals not wearing protection should stay away. And I am not responsible if you do not become a pro after watching this video. Now that that's out of the way, let's continue on. And we hit start and that RA2 Pro is holding on to that glass with ease. Nicely done. I'll go ahead and wash this off later. Again, just comes off with uh, water. It's very easy. Next, I'm going to do this, uh, I don't know, tumbler, I guess you want to call it. Looks like it's powder coated and uh, has a nice seal on it. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave that off. Since this is rather long, we're going to use this uh, support module for the other end. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get our measurements. And, yep, we're about 250. And this does need to be still leveled out and you can see there there's a support module and everything's now nice and level now i can manually turn it you'll see it move a little, shift a little bit but you can get the understanding of what that support module does i think it's a great idea for especially long items now i'm gonna head over back to laser box basics and the material i'm gonna choose coated metal it's 100 percent power 70 millimeters per second and you'll see that my image is rotated negative 90. And then, you know, I have my diameter in there. Basically the circumference, again, you could choose either one. And then you could also frame it to show where you want it. I think I want this almost dead center. And you just move the laser where you want it. And again, you want to also adjust the height and if you need to, you can refer to one of my previous videos for that. You can just hit next and then it will start engraving. Again, you want to use proper eye protection during all of this. I decided to do two images. I reused the one that I did on the glass on the back. And let's see how this comes out. Loosen the chuck. Turn it the other way. <laughs> and it releases rather easily. Push back the gantry, make sure it hits hard, and yes, you know what rhymes with camping? Alcohol. <laughs> cool. And then you got the wifey thing on the back. We'll take a closer look at this uh, towards the end of the video. Next I purchased this thermos. Well, you know, it's got that nice little lid on the top here. Another seal here, and this is uh, coated, but it's more like with a rubbery type material. I did my measurements already, and I am now just doing my test here to see if my placement's good. And I like it, so let's go ahead and kick this one off. Push it back, and again, release it from the chuck or jaws and this one looks like it needs to be wiped off and I'm just going to use some good old-fashioned Windex and a paper towel wipe it right off there we go came out real nice again I'm really liking this rotary I mean it is fun it is dead silent all you hear is the fans the cooling fans and that is it now I'm just doing a stainless steel and this is running at, uh, whoops, <laughs> dropped it again. Yeah, this is running at uh, six millimeters per second. That one was actually at uh, 10 for the car itself. So again, I've always stressed enough that you test everything first. So I'm just taking Windex and a paper towel, wiping it off. And this was without any special coating assistance. Now if you use, coating assistance on here. I'm sure you could do it a lot faster. This took about three hours to engrave, but this is really crisp. The car took uh, about an hour, but yeah, that is how nice and rich of a print you can get on there for engraving. Now I got to put these, what X tool calls them ring adapters on here. And we're going to just uh, twist them on. I'm going to put them in the first hole. It's very easy. And 
is going to need to have them thumb tight. You do get three of them, and I guess you could put a ring on it. Or other things, as you'll see, I'm going to use it for something more unique than a ring. You may have seen a little teaser at the front of this video. So with this, I'm going to be using another adapter at the end. It's called the tail module. If you have something that's small enough, this will go ahead and slide in and you use that lever to lock it in place. Pretty cool. Plus, it's got a uh, spring in there to push it. And what are we going to engrave? Well, Johnsville jalapeno cheddar smoked sausages, of course. I mean, they're awesome. So let's go ahead and have a rotisserie, shall we? This smells so good. I mean, so good. And uh, yeah, I did three passes on it. I was kind of hoping to see some charring, but it didn't happen. But it did definitely engrave into the sausage. Ah, oh, my mouth is still watering. And of course I'm narrating after the fact I ate this. And of course, what does it say on here? Oh. It says, hot sausage. I'll go ahead and throw this into the air fryer for seven minutes. And boy, I, do, I just have them plain. So much flavor. Oh, so, so good. Love these. So let's take a, another look at what I engraved. Let's start with the glass, since I didn't wash it off. Uh, you know, using the paint, the washable paint, it, you know, it's got its drawbacks sometimes. You can see that I didn't get enough in certain areas, but it's permanent, permanently etched. Ah, this came out really nice. When life gives you lemons, grab the vodka. My wife's favorite, vodka lemonade. And this came out just stunning, but it took over three hours, but look at that. And, you know, the car still came out nice, too, but it was at, uh, they're recommended for stainless steel, but six millimeters per second on the Shelby logo. And you see how vibrant that is. Let's go ahead and take this out. And I think this was powder coated. Came out really, really nice as well. And, of course, you got the wife on the back. Yep, pretty darn cool. Everything just worked so great with this. I mean, you get everything that you basically need. You get the measuring tape. You get this little bob level. You get the ring adapters. You get two sets of jaws. And you can also 3D print uh, extra sets if you want, if you have a 3D printer. You got adapters to use this and with other laser engravers. You got two ends to basically support your material on the other end, which is great. I, I love this idea. And of course you have the chuck key. Now for how flawless this actually worked, <laughs> eh, there's two things I like to bring to your attention. First, you need risers with this, and it would be really nice if Xtool would provide a set of risers with the machine, because not everyone has them. Second, you need some shims or something. I bought these shims from Home Depot. The link will be in the description below. They're plastic, very easy to use, and it was just a few bucks. So I was just getting those as well. I highly recommend this. I think it is such a well-engineered and thought-out kit. RA2 is, to me, kind of a must-have if you're doing anything with a rotary. It, is that, it was so much fun to use. I mean, you will definitely need to get the risers and, and some shims for those uneven you know, types of engravings that you want to do. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Yes, there is a giveaway here from now until May 31st, 2022. And what is it? Well, you can win an RA2 Pro. Yes, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, Tripods Garage, Xtools channel, and then leave your comments in the comment boxes. What you would like to do with the RA2 if you have one. A word limit is 100 to 200 words. Each person can only comment once, and there'll be a random picker that will select the winner. Review the details in the description below. 
Also, there is a $30 off coupon. Use the URL below and then type in RA2 and this will give you $30 off and check out. Now, just in case if you are watching this video at the and this uh, contest and promotion is over, no worries. I always update my descriptions for the latest and greatest promotions provided by Xtool. Just click on the URL if it's provided. I really appreciate you tuning into Tripods Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in. See you the next time on Tripods Garage.